Atlantis now beginning what is known as the Touchdown. Atlantis' nose being now rotated down toward the runway. The uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time. In 25 years, 32 flights, more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, we have to go for ready to start, 2, 1, clear, booster ignition, and liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, the final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Bypass across the board, scooter, no action. Houston now controlling Atlantis on its way. on its way, all three engines now throttling down as the area begins, as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis, Houston, no action on the MPS H2 out P. Houston, Endeavour, roll program. Roger, roll, Endeavour. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavour's roll maneuver is complete. It's now in a heads-down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Armstrong is on the moon, yeah, Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon. On this July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.
Atlanta's now beginning what is known as the pre-flare maneuver. It will pull the nose up a little bit right before it uh, hits the runway. It's speed now 320 miles per hour. The gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Atlantis' nose being now rotated down toward the runway. The uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time in 25 years. 32 flights and more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books.